Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and I wanted to talk about the uh, the upcoming solar eclipse. Now, a lot of y'all are probably like, hey, I'm going to go out and take a photo of it. Maybe you're going to take a video. But what you don't realize, what you may not realize, rather, is that photographing or video, or videoing, rather, the solar eclipse can be extremely dangerous. Now, there's a few things that make it dangerous. Number one, any time that one looks directly at the sun with the naked eye, it's still dangerous. Even with a pair of sunglasses, it's dangerous. So you need to be sure if you're just going to view the solar eclipse that you have proper glasses for viewing the solar eclipse. So you can check the link within this video's description to find a variety of them. But when you take it a step further, and if you're thinking about photographing and or video in the solar eclipse, you can really damage yourself. Because a camera lens, whether it's a video camera or a, uh, or a handheld camera, those cameras, the lens magnifies, meaning that you know, the sun is extremely intense without magnification, but once it's magnified, it becomes even more intense. So people have, uh, have permanently blinded themselves by looking into a camera that's pointed at the sun. It can damage the camera equipment, which obviously is not as bad as damaging one's own eyesight. But, you know, you need to be sure that if you're going to attempt to photograph and or video the solar eclipse, that you have the appropriate equipment for the camera because it can be extremely dangerous for both the camera and your own eyesight. And you know, not to mention just the heat, even taking the proper precautions with the camera equipment, the heat that the sun creates could potentially damage the camera. And the people that are watching the, the, uh, the solar eclipse, I mean, they can get overheated, you know, and they need to have some water and, and stay hydrated and uh, you know, try to stay in the shade. The sun is a dangerous thing. But I know that solar eclipses only happen every so often, and that's why I wanted to post this announcement so that everyone thought about things that they may not think about. Because a lot of people are just like, ooh, well, the solar eclipse is going to happen on you know, X date next time. I think I'm just going to go out and, uh, and, and check it out. And that's the attitude a lot of people have because solar eclipse doesn't happen every year. You know, it's a rare occurrence. So you know, think before you go out and... Uh, and enjoy the solar eclipse because it can be very dangerous. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, check the link within this video's description. You can find a variety of, uh, of solar eclipse gear, like I said, the glasses, stuff for cameras, and a whole lot more. But most importantly, be familiar with your equipment. Check with the manufacturer if you're unsure. You know, find out what can and can't be done because all the, the worst thing to happen when viewing the solar eclipse, number one, would be something catastrophic that happened to a human, but also the camera equipment. Camera equipment's expensive. You know, don't mess it up. Do your due diligence. Know what you're getting into. The solar eclipse can be very dangerous, but it can be a lot of fun too. So with that in mind, plan ahead, play it safe, and enjoy the solar eclipse. Thanks for watching, and you can check out my channel because I'll have extensive, ugh, extensive coverage of the solar eclipse here on Irish Sky's Adventure Channel, youtube.com forward slash Irish Sky. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.